Hello girls, I am Dr. Surangna and I welcome you to yet another episode of Women Health Series by Last Health Speaks. In today's video, I will be talking about premenstrual syndrome which is also referred to as PMS and this is something which most of us women experience in our life. And sometimes it can also affect our daily activities and bring disruptions in our daily routine. I will also be talking about how we can cope with premenstrual syndrome or how we can bring a PMS in control and these ways have actually been backed by science. Today I will talk about this is very important because I will premenstrual syndrome or PMS which is a little bit of a problem and takes a little bit of a problem. And I will talk about how we can control PMS from the lakshan and control PMS. 75% of women are known to experience PMS and its symptoms and of them 20% are known to experience very severe PMS that they require medical treatment. So most of us women experience PMS. But just because we are a women, it does not mean that we need to live with it. So first, it is very important that we are fully aware about PMS. Most of us women may not even have heard about PMS or may have heard about PMS for the first time or we may not know about it. And that is why it is very important that we are aware about it first. So we have a lot of ladies who have not heard about PMS or PMS or know about PMS. We have heard this word but we don't know what it is. So it is very important to know what PMS is aware of. After that, we should know how we can control it to a great extent. So come and know about PMS and how we can get a little bit of relief from it. So let's start. Hi guys, I am Dr. Surangna and I am going to talk about PMS. Premenstrual syndrome or PMS is a condition that occurs in many women after their ovulation and certain days before the start of their menstrual period and it goes away once menstruation begins. PMS leads to many physical and emotional symptoms in women that can affect our physical health, behavior and emotions. And it is very important to know that this is not any disease but it is a medical condition that occurs generally after ovulation and it arises because of certain imbalances of hormones in our body and it can cause mild to moderate symptoms that can vary from one woman to the other. So, it is like that some ladies go periods without any PMS symptoms experience. Some ladies have mild symptoms. Some ladies have so severe symptoms that they have a lot of difficulty in their day-to-day activities. So, these symptoms of PMS vary from one lady to another lady. So, there are many symptoms of PMS. There are various symptoms of PMS which include abdominal bloating, sore breasts, acne, food cravings especially for sweet things, headaches, constipation and diarrhea, fatigue, irritability, anxiety, depression or sadness, emotional outburst, and changes in sleeping patterns. The reason why we experience PMS is because our hormone levels become unbalanced. Our body's estrogen and progesterone levels are known to decrease after ovulation and these changing hormonal levels can affect different women in different ways. Also it is known that after ovulation certain fluctuations takes place in our brain chemicals called serotonin that lead to PMS. And it is also known that low levels of these chemicals can contribute to fatigue and PMS depression. So PMS is due to hormonal imbalance, which is due to basically estrogen and progesterone level. After ovulation, our body's brain chemicals have some fluctuations in our body, which is due to PMS. There are many things which if we adopt in our life, they can promote further hormonal imbalance in our body, which can cause further problems and it can lead to severe PMS symptoms. So what happens is some things that happen to do is that our body's hormonal balance is bigger and there is more hormonal imbalance. And already in our body there is hormonal imbalance which is because of PMS. So if we do that, then there will be more hormonal imbalance and that will be more severe PMS. So we have to save these things. So in the case of Many research has been done which indicates that we can control our PMS symptoms and make ourselves feel better by adopting certain ways without the use of any medicines. So let us see what they are. 
देखते हैं हम कैसे अपने पीएमएस को कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं Eating a high sugar or refined carbohydrate diet will further promote hormonal imbalance in our body which can aggravate our PMS symptoms. So it is very important that we give up on refined flour, sugar and processed foods from our diet and we include more of complex carbohydrates such as legumes, whole grains, fruits and vegetables in our diet which are also known to help reducing mood swings according to many different studies. तो हमें बिल्कुल भी हाई शुगर या रिफाइंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स डाइट नहीं फॉलो करनी चाहिए हमें अपने डाइट में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इंक्लूड करने चाहिए जिससे हम अपने पी को कंट्रोल कर सकें इट इज़ ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी इंक्लूड ग्राउंड फ्लैक्स सीज इन आवर डाइट दैट कैन फर्दर हेल्प टू बैलेंस अर हॉर्मोन्स एंड रिड्यूस सम ऑफ अर पी एम एस सिम्टम्स शुड ऑल्सो कट डाउन ऑन अर क्रेविंग्स ऑफ शुगरी स्वीट एंड सॉल्टी फूड्स सो दैट वी कैन रिड्यूस द सिम्टम्स ऑफ ब्लोटिंग एंड पी एम एस एस तो कभी कभी हमारी जो चाह ज़्यादा हो जाती है कुछ मीठा खाने की कुछ नमकीन खाने की हमें उसको भी कंट्रोल करना पड़ेगा हम अपने पी एम एस को कंट्रोल करने के लिए When we talk about modifying our diet for controlling PMS, it is also very important that we reduce the intake of caffeine and alcohol in our diet, and we include more of calcium and omega-3 rich foods in our diet to reduce our PMS symptoms. Also, we should include more of high-protein rich foods in our breakfast, such as eggs, nuts, cereals, yogurt, so that we can help our body to balance our body's sugar levels. So, हमें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा क्या कैल्शियम ओमेगा थ्री और प्रोटीन रिच फूड्स अपने डाइट में इंक्लूड करना चाहिए पीएमएस को रिड्यूस करने के लिए एंड लास्टली वी शुड ऑलवेज ईट इवनली थ्रू आउट द डे बाय हैविंग स्मॉल मील्स एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स एंड वी शुड नेवर स्किप आर मील्स एंड दिस विल आल्सो हेल्प टू रिड्यूस मेनी ऑफ आर पी सिम्टम्स एंड ब्लोटिंग अनमैनेज स्ट्रेस इन आवर लाइफ कैन फर्दर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू मोर पी एम स्विंग्स and also in many studies it has been indicated that there is a direct link between stress and more severe pms symptoms due to which it is very important that we are able to cope with our everyday stresses to deal with pms maine hamesha baat ki hai ki hame apna stress reduce karna chahiye kyunki stress sirf hamare pms nahi but hamare body mein jitne bhi health conditions hain unko aggravate hi karta hai to isliye bahut zaruri hai ki hum apne everyday stresses ko kisi bhi tarah kam kare aur usse hum bahut healthy rahenge aur hamara pms bhi kam hoga so like i've said before there are many different ways in which we can reduce our everyday stresses such as yoga different deep breathing techniques meditation plenty of sleep talking with your friends and also maybe going for a massage so these are some of the ways in which you can reduce your everyday stresses and they can help you further in reducing pms symptoms research suggests that including cardio exercises in our daily routine such as aerobics dancing walking swimming cycling etc can help to reduce depression and fatigue which comes with pms वैसे तो क्या होता है कि हमें जब पी होता है हमारी एनर्जी लेवल्स बहुत लो होती है हमें बहुत फैटिक होता है और हमें कुछ भी खास करने का मन नहीं होता लेकिन फिर भी हमें अपने आप को मोटिवेट करना चाहिए कि हम सिर्फ 30 मिनट्स निकाल कर ये एक्सरसाइज कर सकें सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी पुश आवर सेल्स टू एक्सरसाइज फॉर एटलीस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स डेली बट इफ यू एक्सपीरियंस सिवियर सिम्टम्स एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू इंटेंस एक्सरसाइज देन इवन ब्रिस्क वॉकिंग इज अ वेरी गुड ऑप्शन विच कैन हेल्प टू रिड्यूस सिम्टम्स ऑफ एनजाइटी सैडनेस and depression which comes with pms smoking should be completely avoided as there are many studies which indicate that women who smoke have higher chances of developing pms symptoms which are of high intensity also from a health point of view smoking is just not good for our health तो हमें स्मोकिंग बिल्कुल भी नहीं करना चाहिए उसे अवॉइड करना चाहिए सिर्फ हमारे हेल्थ लेनी बट हमारे pms को भी कंट्रोल करने के लिए To cope with PMS it is also very important that we are able to identify our symptoms their timings and what things actually triggers them or makes them worse and so that we can develop an efficient strategy to reduce them or deal with them to ye bahut zaruri hai ki hame ye pata ho ki hame kya symptoms ho rahe hain hame kab ye symptoms hote hain aise kya cheez karne se hamare symptoms zyada worse hote hain ya bure hote hain to usse hame efficient strategy use kar sakte hain PMS ko reduce karne ke liye 
If you experience intense physical or emotional PMS symptoms which may affect your health a lot and affect your daily routine and which are not getting better with any solution then it is best to visit your gynecologist who can be a best support for you and can be of great help to us. They can guide us and help to ease our PMS symptoms and find the best possible situation for us. PMS leads to a lot of hormonal changes in our body that can cause strong physical and emotional symptoms in us. And in today's video, I've discussed everything about PMS and how we can cope with PMS. And I hope that they can be of help to you and can make managing your PMS easier. So that's it for today. Aaj ke liye itna hi. Stay healthy, stay happy, and thank you so much for being a part of this healthy journey. If you have still not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon in the end to get latest updates from Lifestyle Speaks. Don't forget to share this video more and more with your friends and family. इस वीडियो को ज्यादा से ज्यादा अपने फ्रेंड्स और फैमिली के साथ शेयर करना मत भूलिएगा लव योर लाइफ एंड मेक इट कैरिस्मैटिक सी यू अगेन नेक्स्ट टाइम स्टे सेफ स्टे कनेक्टेड एंड कीप वॉचिंग लाइफ स्टाइल स्पीक्स